Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up your own isolated Python environment with the OpenAI libraries installed. That way you can run your very own projects related to any OpenAI based project in its own isolated environment. And I like to do this with all of my different Python projects so that I can make sure I'm running in a clean environment and I don't have any unneeded Python dependencies that may conflict with each other, or I just may not need. So to get started out, what we're going to do first is go over to the anaconda.com website that I have pulled up here. And then what you're going to do is go to the very top here and click free download. And you're going to see a screen similar to this here. You're going to go down to the bottom here and click on the download button. Depending on your OS that you're running on, will dictate what shows up in this dropdown. I'm running on a Mac, so you have an option for Intel base Macs or your M1, M2, M3 chipsets for Apple's custom silicone. So depending on what you have as an OS, go ahead and download it and run the installer and then come back and we'll continue uh, where we left off here with the download and install. So I take it that you've downloaded Anaconda You've ran the installer on your PC or your Mac, depending on what OS you have. And if you've already done that, go ahead and open up Anaconda wherever you've installed it. And you should see a screen similar to what I have here pu pulled up. You are going to be most interested in the environments section over here to the left. So I'm going to click environments. And we can see I have a base root environment. Now this is the default out of the box Python environment Anaconda gives you. But we're interested in creating our very own isolated environment for OpenAI based projects. So we can use this particular environment for any project that we're going to run that's going to use the OpenAI Python library. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time in the Anaconda user interface, but I did want you to have uh, some familiarity with this and what it looks like. A lot of times you're going to do this. Uh, the next few steps in a command line or in a terminal, you know, it really depends on what your environment you're running in. in on a Mac, we're going to be running this in, in terminal. So I've set up a project here in VS Code that we're going to navigate over to. And it's a simple Python project here that just communicates out with the OpenAI library and allows us to have just a simple chat back and forth conversation here. Nothing super fancy. And then we print the response out. So I'm going to show you what happens when we are not running in the proper Python environment, what type of error you'll get here. So I'm going to jump right into it, type some code, or type the command here. We're going to run the Python that file that I have there, the openai underscore demo dot pi file. And we can see that we get an error here and it says, you know, your typical generic Python error when it can't find a, uh, a particular library. So no module named OpenAI. So what we need to do now is use Anaconda to set up an environment for us to use so we can execute uh, using these particular libraries here, the OpenAI um, Python library. So what I'm going to do here, when you install Conda by default, you get some command line utilities that are available to you here. So here is short called Conda. So what we're going to do is first list the particular libraries that we have available for us in Anaconda. And so this is showing us the base root um, particular environment that we had set up. But what we want to do is create our very own Anaconda environment. So we're going to type in Conda create dash n and we're going to call this openai underscore env and this is going to create a baseline Python environment with some basic Python libraries that we want or that it will install for us. You can see it's telling us where our Python location is. So I'm on a Mac and this is what mine looks like. So 
users on, uh, slash Debbie slash Anaconda three slash environments and then our environment there. And then it's going to prompt us, do we want to proceed? And then I'm going to click yes. It's going to run through its steps here. And we can see now that our environment has been created. But in order to use this environment, we need to run the conda activate openai underscore env. So I'm going to paste that in there. And what you'll notice here is now in front of my uh, particular command prompt here or the the name right here my name Debbie you can see that we now have openai underscore env and that just tells us what environment we're operating in but what I'm going to do here is look and see by calling conda list what you know libraries are already installed for us so doesn't look like there are any installed right now so what we're going to do is want to run another command called conda install. And so this is going to allow us to install particular Python packages. We're going to do dash dash file. And then you'll notice that I have a requirements file. Now, instead of typing everything out in the command line, we can create a requirements file that has, uh, you know, that has the list of um, Python libraries you want to install. So here I just said, hey, I wanted to open AI, and then I have one here, utility library called python-.env. That allows us to put environment variables in env files. So that's why we have that file there. And now what I'm going to do back down in the command line here is type in requirements dot txt and then i'm going to hit enter so it should read that file for all the packages that we want to install and install them for us so you can see it going through here collecting the metadata resolving it's going to prompt us for some things this library has some dependencies here so if we scroll further up here we can see the entire list of dependencies that it's going to install i'm going to click yes it's going to do its thing here, run through, executing transactions here. And so, so depending on your, your download speed and stuff like that, it's going to really dictate how long it takes. So we can see that it completed. I am next going to run conda list again to see what Python packages are part of this environment now. And so now we can see we're getting a list of packages before it was empty but the one i want to look for is the two that we called out specifically in the requirements file because all the other ones that you're seeing here are just dependencies for these two libraries that we asked for so we can see we have the python.env and we can now see we have openai also available to us right so now we've created the Python environment using Conda. We installed the libraries that we wanted. So we should now be able to actually make a call to our Python file and it should work with for us without throwing an error. But remember, we always have to make sure we've activated that environment there. So what I'm going to do is rerun that Python file and we should get a reply back from the OpenAI SDK or API. And we can see that here we asked who won the World Series in 2021. And it told us the Atlanta Braves won the 2021 World Series. So we can see now we have a isolated Python environment that we can run and execute any of our Python files that use OpenAI in this environment without having to pollute our main Python environment. So what I'm going to do here is show, we're going to deactivate this environment. So if you want to know how to leave this Python environment, you simply type deactivate there in your terminal or your command line. 
And, oh, sorry. So what we have to do is type in conda deactivate. And now you can see we're back at the base, um, the base library here or the base environment that came with Anaconda. So if we were to run that again, we were to run that Python file again, it should throw that error to us. So yep, so we cannot, it cannot find the module OpenAI. So that shows that our environment is working as expected. And if we go back in there and type in Conda, um, activate, and then we can type in OpenAI underscore EMV. Now we're back there. And when we run that, yep, so that is running. And it gave us a different reply. So hopefully this video was helpful on how to set up your very own Python environment using Anaconda. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I try to get to as many comments as I can. And also, if you found this content helpful, feel free to click like, subscribe, and look forward to seeing you in our next video.